Wait. Let me sort myself out. I did not think that I was gonna go live straight away. Fudge. Thumbs up already? Who's that from? I bet that's from my friend Annie. Without even seeing it, she's just thumbed it up. Because there's nobody even in it, so how can you thumbs it up? It's definitely from Annie. Nobody else would do it that quick. Hang on, I've got to sort myself out. Just had a shower. Um, and I, um, I'm just celebrating with a drink. Hi. Hi, J-Test ASMR. How are you? So, I wait. I knew it was you, Annie. <laughs> I just knew it. I knew it because I just knew that you would like it without even, like, being on it. Oh my god, Ali Catless! It's been such a long time. How are you doing, babes? So, this is probably an unflattering angle. Um, I'm having a drink. I'm drinking rose prosecco. Let me. I can't do this with one hand. I should have probably done this on my laptop, but gag and shocker. How are you? I've, I've drank most of it, but. Um, it's your back. I missed you. Hi, Bridie. Yeah, um. Oh my god, it's been forever getting fat again, trying to look... Girl, I literally have put so much weight on. It's just, it's beyond a joke. But, got some good news. Um, so I'm having a drink because I went through the process of applying for a job. Annie, you'll know all about this because you've pretty much... Without you, I wouldn't have even been able to get this far. But I applied for my dream job, which is a prison officer at my local prison. Um, so had to send out like ap the application, had to do a couple of online tests, which I passed. And then I had to wait for, um, I think I had to wait uh, about a month and I had to do like this assessment day. Now, usually it would be in person, but because of COVID, it was all virtual. So I had to do two role play scenarios. Um, so it was like actors and they were pretending to be, a. yeah, okay, that's fine. I understand, Annie. Um, they were like actors pretended to be like a prisoner and had to be a prison officer. It was quite fun. And then I had a written assessment and a maths test. And then I had to do an interview, which is obvious. Um, so I did that. My friend helped me prepare, which without her, I don't think I would have done very well. But I passed it. So, whoop, whoop, passed that. Um, now I'm just waiting on my score to see how well I've passed. I don't know why I'm spraying, like you guys can smell, but whatever. Um, and so, yeah, now I've got to do a fitness test. Hope well, like, when they give me a date. So I'm just kind of having a light celebration with some Prosecco. I've just had a shower and washed my hair. Oh yeah, guys, if you hadn't noticed before, um, I now have hair. <laughs> this is like... But it needs to be, um, I need to glue some of it back down because it's coming off at the front and the back. It's a Sunday. I'm sure it's a Sunday for everyone. Oh my God, there's only two of you guys left. Hi Susie, how are you? It's been such a long time, Susie. How are you doing? I know I promised you a fish and chip video. I promise it will I'll eventually. I'm going to be uploading a video very shortly. Um, I mean like a, a mukbang. I'm going to be uploading a mukbang very, very soon. Probably within the next, like, few days. So stay tuned for that. I just thought I'd go on live. Um, I'm having a little bit of a... Dr oh, that was my speaker. I was playing music. But obviously, I know that I can't play music because I did remember. I have literally, I haven't forgotten anything. I know that I have to do you a fish and chip video. I've got to do British snacks video for somebody. Um, and some more. Congrats on your job opportunity. Look forward to a video. I haven't filmed one in forever. Thank you very much. I've worked so hard. Like I literally did. I prepared for that that assessment day for like a good week and a half, like every day solidly. Um, so I, I was as prepared as I could be and I worked really hard. So, you know, they do say like good things, good things come to those who wait and I have waited. And like, I used to with your partner. 
no, I'm not with um, Sandra anymore. Um, I don't know, he could even be watching this because he probably still subscribes to me. But no, I'm not with him. We broke... Oh, I don't know. We broke up like... I want to say... August, September time. Um, broke up August, September time because he wasn't faithful. But we was, we remained like friends, I guess. Tried to. And then my mum invited him over for Christmas dinner. Well, for Christmas. Like Christmas, spend Christmas with us because obviously he lives on his own. Don't know if I wanted him to, but he did anyway. So he came over for Christmas. Um, it was the first time I'd seen him literally in like two or three months. It was kind of awkward. And obviously one like things happened. Don't need to go into any more detail with that. And then me being me, me being naive and like, you know, just stupid. I kind of fell back for like the feelings obviously just came flooding back. And I, so this was in January now. I, I thought, oh, we're going to get back. No, it was so awkward, Ali Katniss. And I thought, oh, we're going to get back together. Like, I'm still in love with him. We were talking every day as if nothing had happened. I even said to him, like, I'll forgive you for what you did. You know, we can just move forward. And then literally, I'm not even joking, literally, like, a few days ago, I caught him out again on a dating app. So, obviously, I, I confronted him straight away and I was like, look, what what are you playing at? Like, you either want me or you don't. And he basically just said, you know, we're both single. I can do what I want. Um, you know, if I want to go and do, do whatever with somebody, then I can. So, I was just like, you know what? Cool. Like, this is... That was probably, like, the icing on the cake, so to speak. I was just like, you know what? It's been two years. We've had some great times. We've had some shitty times. But we both just need to move on now. Also, the fact that he's moving away. Um, I think he probably would have moved away sooner had COVID not been around. But because of COVID, we can't travel at the moment. So I think he's going he's gonna to be moving back to where he's from. So it would definitely... Here's the thing, though. I was willing to move to the country that he's from with him. I was literally willing to leave my home country, leave my mum and go and pursue a relationship in a different, in like a foreign country for this guy. And he had the audacity to do what he did. Like, I don't deserve that. I am, I am like, a, I know that I'm like a good person deep down. Yeah, I can have my bitchy moments. Yeah, I can be a little much, but I'm a, I am a really good person with a good heart and like I've got a lot to give somebody. So if somebody's gonna treat me like that, then they don't deserve me. Do you know what I mean? And. It, with the help of my mum and my, my best friend. Hi, Mal. Oh, my God, Mal, I miss you. With the help of my friend, Annie, um, I have got through, like, the tough times. It's been hard because of COVID. You can't see anybody that you want to see. Like, I want to just hug... I just want to hug, like, my best friend, but... Oh, my God, I'm getting emotional. But you can't. Obviously, I FaceTime her, and, look, she helps me so much. Um... So I am getting through it, and it has been tough. It's not easy. Like, you know, when you love somebody and they do that, it, it really does knock your confidence, and it, like, it does um, messes with your head a little bit because it just makes you think, well, I've literally give you all that I could emotionally and physically and everything else. Sorry, I won't mention that. Um, and then, like, you still do that. It just makes you think, well, why was you not good enough? But... Then you have to realise it's not actually you, it's them. Like, literally. There's nothing else I could have done. Do you know what I mean? Like, I literally give it everything. He just... I just wasn't, like... It that, it's, his, it's his problem. He's And he told me when I said to him, like... Oh, my God, I can't believe I'm still talking about this, whatever. I literally said to him, I was like, um, I'll forgive you for what you did. And his reply was, I can't promise you it won't happen again. So I, I should have like, known them. But it is what it is, you know. I st I'll always have love for him and I'll always care about him because we were together for a long time, you know. And deep down, I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's got a lot of issues that he needs to deal with. But, um, yeah. 
At the end of the day, he's never going to find a guy as good as me. Like, and as nice as me, as cute as me. Do you know what I mean? So, cheers to that one. And moving on, moving on up, I'll find someone else. Glad you're still here, here. Oh, I know, Susie. Wait, is that two accounts? Or have you just changed your picture? Susie Lyons. Susie Lyons. Did you just change your picture, Susie? Or is that two different accounts? Oh, yeah. I've... You need someone willing to give you as much as you do. Exactly. Literally. Exactly that. So what's everyone else been up to? English eats a single bro. Oh, my God. I miss my man English. Mate, how well is English eats doing? He's got nearly like 3k subscribers now. I just feel like if I'd carried on making videos, I um You've got a different picture now. Um if I had carried on making videos, I could have probably been, you know, around that mark as well. It's quite sad really. Um but a positive, even though I haven't made a video for such a long time, I'm still um making money. Not not as much, like, it's not going up as fast, but I'm still making money every day, like, a couple of pounds or whatever. It's not a lot, do you know what I mean? But that's still nice. And I've still read all of your comments. Um, like, I've every every other day, I still get a comment from, like, my previous videos off people saying, miss you, can't wait for you to return. And I have seen all of them, and I do try to reply to everyone. But I've just been busy. Like, I've literally been busy. Even though, like... We've had lock we've had so many lockdowns in the UK. I'm sure if you're from the UK you'll you'll know. It's like it seems like a lockdown every bloody week, but um we won't talk about that shit. But I've been busy just doing my own thing and like de like do you know what I mean? Oh my god, Connor, how are you? I've missed you guys too. I'm worried though, if I get this job, um I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know. Like, if I do get this job, I'll probably have to keep... Um, I might have to just change the name of my channel or something just so it's, like, not easy to find. you know what I mean? I know that, like, if you get this job, you have to, like, change your name on social media and stuff, but... What job is it? Prison officer. Yeah, which is, like, my dream job. I was... UK, okay, so growing up... I've always been interested in the public services. Um, growing up, I always was like, the job that I wanted was the police force. Like, I always wanted to be a police officer. And that's why I went to uni and did criminology and policing. But from studying my degree, I kind of realised that I didn't want to be in the police force. And then in my final year of university, I did this module where I, I um, called Prisons and Punishment. And I got to visit one of, the, like, I think it was called Grendon Prison. And me and my classmates got to go there for the day. And that's what... What did you say? What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> um, I visited a prison with my classmates. And that's what made me... Um, no, you didn't put me off, Annie. Sorry, I've just mentioned your name again. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I, mean, I visited this prison... And that's what kind of, like, sparked my interest in the prison service. Like, I just saw how it was run and things like that. And that's what made me realise I really want to try for the prison service. So, I applied and I've passed quite a lot of tests. I've done all my interviews and stuff. Passed that. So, I'm just waiting to hear back now to pass the fitness test. And then once I've done that, that is it. Oh, I'm vetting as well, but that's fine. I haven't got any criminal history. And then I'm in. So, fingers crossed, I hear from them soon with a date. Because I'm just like, I need to leave my job that I'm in now. Um, and exciting times, it's my dream job, so I just can't wait to get started, really. Oh, I need to get back on a diet and I need to start working out. Because imagine if they, like, if I get an email this week being like, oh, you need to come to the fitness test in two weeks. So I'm, I'm not passing a fitness test right now. <laughs> So I need to like get. I'm got five days off work now because um, I'm only doing like flex. It's called flexi furlough. If you're from the UK, I'm sure you'll understand. But I'm only doing a couple of shifts a week, 
and then the rest is made up from furlough pay. So I've just done my two days, which was Saturday and Sunday this weekend, and now I've got five days off. So starting tomorrow, Monday, I'm getting back on my diet, and I'm going to start exercising, and, you know, I'm really going to make a change this time, and I'm going to stick to it for good. Because I remember this time last year, I just started my diet, and if you remember, like, I lost, like, three stone, and you could tell in my videos, like, I lost so much weight. And then lockdown happened, and I just started eating, and then my weight just gained, 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 gained. But my channel, the like, my channel was taking off. And I was getting loads of views. And then I don't even know why I stopped making videos. I just think I went back to work and then I just, just stopped. I didn't want to stop, but I just stopped. And honestly, when, you, when you're in this, like, um, routine of making videos, you just want to keep making them and making them. And then when you stop and have a break for, like, a week... You just think, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, or, oh, I'll record a video, and then you just never get round to it. And it's so easy to just, like, get out of that cycle of recording, which is why I just think I need to just bloody do it. Because, honestly, guys, the amount of opportunities I've had to record a video is ridiculous. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, the amount of times I thought, okay, I'm going to order this food and I'm going to record a video. I've ordered the food, it's got here, and I'm just thought, oh, I can't be bothered. I'm not, no excuse, like, I just, I've just been lazy, and that's my fault, because at the end of the day, you know, I've got all you guys that have missed me, and it's not fair, I feel you, exact same thing happened to me, I haven't bothered making a video because I'm embarrassed, but I know I need to just start making them and get back on track with weight loss, that's another thing, like, before, I literally couldn't, I didn't care about making videos, like, it wasn't, like, an embarrassing thing to me, Everybody knew about it, like, I posted it on my social media, like, most of my friends knew about it. But now I'm a bit nervous to post, like, a video. I don't know why. Hi, Lauren Smith, how are you? Love your hair, Fielding. Is this, is Fielding your first name? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I had my hair done. I was, my friend sent me it, actually, like, this, this salon that does it. It's 100% real human hair. It's all like blends into my own hair. This is my hair, like the back and the sides, but this isn't my hair. This is um like a, a male wig, I guess. But it's like real human hair, so it looks like legit. I've just washed it, which is why it's all fluffy. But I just need to glue the front down. Um, Yeah, Fielding is my first name. I know it's unusual. Um, I think my mum... Did I ever tell this story? I think my mum... I mean, I don't think I know. My mum got my first name from um, a TV show. It was an American TV show called... Oh, that's really nice lighting, isn't it? Isn't that really nice lighting? Don't I look really, like, glowy? Um, yeah, my mum got my name from a TV show called Flamingo Road. And I just, I'm obsessed with my hair. I think it just makes me look so good. Um, <laughs> and... The guy was called Fielding Carlisle. And so my mum fell in love with the name. You need to get over the first hurdle and you'll be fine. Yeah, definitely. Um, love the name. Sounds like a traveller now. I am a traveller. <laughs> I'm a Roman Gypsy, not Irish traveller though. Yeah, but all my, there's a lot of people in my family that have, like, really unusual names. Because, like, a lot of travellers do. Like, my one auntie is called Queenie. Um, I've got another auntie called Reenie. Queenie and Reenie. <laughs> Queenie, Rebecca, Reenie, um, QE. Uh, just loads of, like, old-fashioned names, like, travellers' names are. It's funny, the fat comments I've gotten before never bothered me. I knew it was something that could have happened now that I've gained weight, but they bug me like I need to get in a better place. Ali Catless, honestly, the, the, some of the comments that I've got and the abuse that I've received is disgusting. Like, I had this one comment, um, and it's obviously somebody that knows me 100% because, the, like, they basically was like, oh, your granny, which is obviously a term for, like, your nan, she would be turning her grave if she saw the videos that you're doing. Now, obviously, that's somebody that knows that my grand passed away. Do you know what I mean? And then, obviously, I get comments on me being gay, which I don't give a shit. 
and I get comments on my like my weight saying it's disgusting and I just think if you're that sad to like you've gone out of your way to post a comment then you know that just says more about you like you don't if you don't want to watch my videos don't watch it I'm not begging people to watch do you know what I mean hi babes Sign here, Romany Gypsy. All my family have lots of unusual names too. They are how I've got a family Gypsy family is disgusting, but I'm proud it's my blood. People don't talk about the discrimination that gypsies face, especially in the UK. I can't speak for elsewhere because I don't know what it's like elsewhere, but in the UK, um like the hate that gypsies receive is disgusting, but um people don't like to talk about that because they don't understand it. But it's real, like and there is, like, it's just, it's terrible. They look at us like we're, like we're scum. They just think that all gypsies are the same. Because there are a few bad eggs, let's be honest. Like there is in every race, culture, religion. But, you know, not everybody is like that. But you all tarnish with the same brush of being a thief or being like, you know. But it's not like that. Like, there are, like me, like, I'm Roman gypsy, but I've got an education. I've worked since the age of 16. You know, I live in a house. Like, I don't, do you know what I mean? Like, there are members of my family that live in caravans on a site but like that's but they all get the same like they're all tarnished with the same brush whereabouts in the midlands are you from i'm from worcestershire um like a small town in worcestershire as for the white thing do you know what? You've just got to get on with it, you know. There's more to life than, you know, being skinny. I mean, I do need to lose some bloody... Oh, God. I do need to lose some bloody weight, though, just to feel a bit better. Like, do you know what I mean? When you put your clothes on, you just feel like, oh, it's a bit tight. I just want to feel comfortable again. So... I need to... I don't know I'm going to make this up. Hang on. I'm just going to use the rest of this up. can't believe I've drank all this. I live in Swindon now, but back in the shallow... And I love it. But all my family are from up north, Kiddy, Starbridge. I'm from Kidderminster. Well, I'm from Starport on Seven, which is next to Kiddy. As I'm sure you know. That's mad. You're a Smith. I probably know who your family are. There's not that many people in... There's not that many... Well, there are quite a lot of travellers in my area in Starport and Kiddy. But they all know each other, the Smiths and the... I'm a Boswell. Well, my family are Boswells. That's true. I think it should be lose weight while living and not living to lose weight. Exactly. And also, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but for me, whenever I lose weight, losing weight is definitely all up here. It's all like, do you know what I mean? It's all like, oh yeah, I expect you know all the love riches then, don't you? I do know the Loveridges. There's two sets of Loveridges, though. There's, like, the blonde Loveridges, and then there's the Loveridges with the dark hair. Um, but, yeah, losing weight is all a mental thing. Yeah, yeah, I know the Boswell's such a small world. I know. Well, the travel... Like, there isn't, like, like, there isn't a huge gypsy community in, in, like, in this country. Do you know what I mean? Most people know most people. Or you know somebody who's cousins with someone. That's just the way it is. Um, 100%. But once... Once you're in that routine of losing weight, like, it takes me about two to three weeks. But once I've, like, I'm, I'm, I'm motivated and I'm stuck to it, then I find it okay. But it's that first couple of weeks, it's just, like, hard to get into it. Do you know what I mean? I just need to get past that first, like, hurdle. And then once I've done that, I'm fine. So, this five days that I've got off, I'm going to give it, like, a really good effort. I'm going to try and exercise as much as possible. Stick to healthy eating. But at the moment, like, it's quite hard in the UK. It's, like, we've had such, like, bad weather with, like, snow and it's freezing cold and it's, like, then it's raining. It's hard to even go out for a walk. We're all related somewhere along the line when you're from the traveller community. Definitely. They're all related. They all, they've all come from India anyway, you know, and they've just, like, integrated in the south. And, like, especially now with, like, of gypsy communities um, being with other travellers, like Irish travellers, they're all getting together. Everyone knows everyone. Oh, 
Oh, God, yeah, I know. Well, it's quite funny. Don't ask me why I decided to do this, but basically, I decided to start my diet two weeks before Christmas. I don't know why, but um, I lost £10 in my first week. I thought, great. And then it was three days up to Christmas. I thought, right, I'm going to keep on sticking to it. I'm just going to have Christmas Day and Boxing Day off, and then I'm going to get back on my diet. Do you think that happened? No. I had Christmas Day off. I had Boxing Day off. And I thought, oh, it's almost New Year's. So I carried on cheating, cheating, cheating. And then I haven't even started yet. So it's took me a month. So instead of having two days off, I've had a whole month off. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have, um, I'll start on the 1st of January. It didn't happen. And I just kept pushing it back, pushing it back. But now, um, I really do need to get back into it. So I'm starting tomorrow. This is why I'm having my final drink. Celebrating my new job opportunity. And, you know, getting back into it tomorrow. Oh, it's been tough. And every year my mum buys um, just like loads of shit. Like unnecessary shit that we just don't need to eat. Do you know what I mean? Like tins of biscuits and like chocolates, crisps. Like just so much. And I'm just thinking... Never gonna eat all that. It's just me and you, but she always just goes over the top like with the kids and stuff. Just buys loads and loads and loads and loads, and then it's literally took three to four weeks for it. Because when there's a tin of biscuits and there's like some box of chocolates, you just think, might as well eat it. Like you know, I don't want it to go to waste. Yeah, so I might as well. And then <laughs> I've just been thinking, oh, I might as well just eat that cake because I don't want it to go to waste. I'm not gonna chuck it away. I think of doing Slimming World because you can eat most stuff. I love my carbs, lol. Crisps. Oh, I love crisps as well. Oh, do you know what my thing is? Um, I do love my takeaways. I love the Chinese and I love the fish and chips. But I snack a lot. Like I snack crisps, chocolates, and they say you should. A, you shouldn't. You shouldn't eat late at night, which I have. I have an issue with. They also say that you shouldn't eat it in your bedroom, and you also shouldn't eat when you're watching TV. Well, I do all of that. Like I'll be eating at ten o'clock at night in my bed watching TV, so I've just ticked all three of them things off. And I do that every fucking night. Like, I'll eat a tub of ice cream or I'll eat some crisps whilst watching TV in bed. But apparently you're supposed to get out of that habit. Like, you're supposed to eat your meals, sat down at a table. Don't know why, but psychologically, like, you eat less or something. Also, they say that you should be drinking, like, um, a glass of water with every meal because then if you have, like, water in between each two, then you eat less. I don't know if that's true, but uh, this was things I was reading, like trying to ba break bad habits or something. So I'm going to just give it a go. I lost weight due to stress, which is obviously not healthy. I hated my weight, but now I'm trying to keep it. Mal, I've seen all your pictures on Facebook. You look beautiful with a bit of weight on you and with your weight loss, like you, you, you're just a gorgeous lady, which you need to start believing. Um, but I understand. The thing with stress is, I was speaking to my mum about it, um, because when she went through some stress ages ago, she said that she couldn't eat and like she did loads of walking and she lost a lot of weight. But I think when you go through stress, it affects you like you either eat more, which is me, whenever I'm sad and like really like depressed or, or you know, stressed out, I eat more. But then some people just can't eat. Do you know what I mean? Like it just goes either way. I eat my feelings. You'll get their field and you got this. When the time's right, you'll get back on it. You'll know when it is. Don't beat yourself up. I've been watching a lot of that show, Miranda. <laughs> Miranda. I'm like, do I relate to this woman in a way? I think everyone can relate to Miranda a little bit. I'm a fridge picker. I can't watch TV well. Any it. There's nothing better than just eating some snacks whilst you're watching your favourite show. At the moment, I've just... Um, they've, I don't know why, but they've added Pretty Little Liars to BBC iPlayer. I don't know if BBC have bought the rights to it or something, because it used to be on Netflix, but they've got rid of that. Um, this was a show that I was invested in from a like ugh, a very young age, like I was a child watching this show. And obviously it's got seven seasons, and most of the seasons have 22 to 25 episodes, so you can imagine it's quite a lot of episodes. I think it's about 160 altogether. And it took up seven years of my life, and it was a long, long, long show. But anyway, I've just started re-watching it and I'm currently halfway through season two and it's only been four days. So, 
you can see how much I've been watching it. And I've been at work for two of those days. So I've literally been in bed watching 10 episodes a day. And all I do is just sit there and watch it. I'm obsessed. I need a hobby. But there's nothing you can do when you're in lockdown. You can't go anywhere. And like I said, you can't go for a walk because the roads are too slippy from the snow and the ice. What's your Facebook? Can I add you? Yeah, you can add me. Um, can I type in this? Let's have a look. I don't think I can type. Oh, that isn't... There's pretty little liars. <laughs> I w my name is Fielding, so F-I-E-L-D-I-N-G. And then my surname is Haig, H-A-I-G-H. So if you type my name in, I'm sure you'll find me just from typing Fielding because there's not that many Fieldings in the world. Literally, Lauren, I cry that I'm fat and then I feel bad. So I think, oh, I'm just going to treat myself to some food. Then I eat it and I think, why have I done that? It's just like a vicious cycle. Thomas! How are you, Thomas? I haven't seen you in such a long time. Hope you're doing okay. Yes, it is the one with the Romany flag as my cover. I will accept you after I finish with this live. I can't believe it's been 30 minutes already. Yeah, I'm good, Thomas. I still haven't seen the, the baby yet. I haven't been able to because of lockdown. I've drank this bottle of Prosecco, guys. This was actually my... This was actually my mum's Prosecco. Um, oh, I think they've... Oh, I lost that tag, have I? Don't say I've lost the tag, because my mum will kill me. Basically, it was my mum's 60th birthday on um, New Year's Eve. I've lost the tag. Oh, well. Yeah, it was my mum's 60th birthday on New Year's Eve. And her cousins came down to see her. They bought her loads of stuff. They bought her, like... Uh, You'll know, Lauren, like, do you know what, like, gypsy things that they have in their house? Like those, uh, what's it called? Oh. Something Dalton, Royal Dalton or something like that. You know, like the, oh, it's like plates, oh, I don't know what it is, but like figurines and things like that. They bought them all of that and then um, they bought this Prosecco, this Rosé Prosecco. And they had like name tags put on a name, with a name on, they bought loads of stuff. Rachel's got a new job. Has she? What's she doing? Saw your friend at Macca's. What friend? I was at Macca's today. I was at work this morning. I keep getting sent home early though because it's just so dead. I'm drinking... Oh, I've kind of drank it all now. It's from Marks and Spencer's. It's a rosé Prosecco. Usually I don't like Prosecco, but... um. Because this is like a rosé flavoured, I've actually really enjoyed it. It's quite nice. It's got me quite tipsy, but I haven't drunk in such a long time. Oh, um, oh, here's the name tag. Bloody hell, fell on the floor. They got this name. How cute is this? They got this name tag with my mum's name, Rebecca, for the bottle. I thought that was nice. Um, yeah, Lewis. I thought Lewis may have joined me tonight, but he might be working. That's why he's not on. To be fair. Rachel, what, what is Rachel doing for a job? Just trying to go through, see if I haven't missed anybody's comments. Royal Dalton, that's the one. Statues and plates and saucers, etc. Yeah, that's it. Royal Dalton, it's like reds and blues, isn't it? And then, do you know those... um. Oh, what were they called? They were like old-fashioned dolls. Like China dolls. My granny used to have all of them. I uh, can't remember. And they used to have like different names and stuff. I love me a vodka. See, I can't... I'm not a vodka drinker. That's the one drink that I don't like is vodka because I don't like the taste of vodka. Gotta go. Bye, Thomas. Um... I don't really like the taste of vodka. And I, like, it doesn't matter what you mix it with. You can always taste it. Apart from um, if you mix it with Red Bull, you can't taste it. I like Malibu. 
I like rosé wine, um, but I usually go for gin or like cocktails. Oh, I can't wait to be out in a bar and have a cocktail. Like that is not my biggest wish. Do you know what I mean? I'd love to go for some cocktails now or for a few gins. Imagine just being in a beer garden with some music. I can't wait for the day that we can actually go to a nightclub and just actually stand up and dance. It's, it feels like it's been that long since we've been able to... Because since the first lockdown, even when like the clubs and bars reopened with music, you weren't allowed to get up and dance. You had to sit down like at, the, at your table. Do you know what I mean? You couldn't get up and dance. Do you think that there's ever going to be a lock... I can't imagine it being any time soon. I think it's going to be years before that happens again. Which is just mad. It is just crazy. <sighs> oh, what time is it? I don't even know what the time is. I'm alright, it's only 20 past seven. They were scary, weren't they? I'm trying to think what those dolls were called. They all have like funny names at the bottom of them, but my granny used to collect all them. Right, guys. I think I'm gonna go because I need to, um, <laughs> that sounds funny, but I need to glue my hair down. I'll go show you, I just like this bit, I just need to glue it back down which is like all a process. I understand now when girls like say, oh, I've got to wash my hair tonight so I can't do a certain thing. Like before with lads, like you could just wash your hair whenever. But now I actually have to plan when I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to think, right, I'm going to wash my hair on Friday. Because then I, do you know what I mean? I want to be a festival. I'm hoping Appleby on this year, though. I've never been to Appleby, you know. I just feel like it's not my thing. Um... Look, I always just feel like, because my granny has always lived in, my granny and granddad used to live on the common in a in a trailer all their life. Like, they're proper, the starport in the summer too, and all the down to fair, yeah. Like, um, my granny and granddad literally was born on the common in starport, lived there all their lives. My mum and my dad, my mum and my uncles and my aunties and all did. But, so when I was younger and I used to visit the common to see my granny and granddad, I always just felt a bit out of place, like I didn't fit in. Obviously, because I'm gay, like I just didn't feel like I fitted in with all the other travelling like boys and girls. So I never used to hang out with them. I just used to like basically just stay in my granny and granddad's house in the trailer. And then like my cousin Paris, who was a, who was a bit younger than me, she'd go out and play with all the travelling kids, and I'd just sit with my granny. Um, and I think deep down, my granny always knew that was different. She never said nothing, but she always knew. So like. I don't know what my point was. There was a point why I was saying this. Uh, oh, yeah, Appleby. So I've never been to Appleby because I just feel like I wouldn't... I don't know if I'd enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go. Bless you, lovely speaking Lovely speaking to you anyway, Lauren. I'm going to accept your Facebook request now. And um, I'm going to make a video soon. So I'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned for that video. Bye.